Hi everybody, welcome back to Pint Friday. I know you all missed us, but we missed you too. We missed drinking and smoking cigars together. It's really been a, a sad hiatus, but we're glad to be back. And I'm especially glad today to be joined by a very special guest, our first official Pint Friday guest, Mr. Russ Willett. He is our master blender here at PipesAndCigars.com. He makes delicious pipe tobacco, but he is very much an equal opportunity smoker, and he has joined us today to give his take on the... Paul Stulak White Blinding Light, which will be the cigar of choice today. We are pairing it with an old classic, Murphy's Irish Stout. Very good favorite of mine, uh, and perfect for this time of year as it starts to get a little colder outside. So, we are going to toast some feet, crack some pints, drink some beer, smoke some cigars, and we'll tell you all about it. Thanks for joining us. The... Uh the little bit of bitter and sweet in, in the stout, and there's an earthiness and pepper, and also a, a coffee note in here. And the contrast is incredible. I really, really like that. Yeah, we're all just tied into it, and I'm like, the combination was good. I didn't know what to expect, so I was like, I know we talked about porter, and I was like, I don't know about porter, but yeah. stout. Yeah, stout was the way. Stout was the way to go. This, mm -hmm. this cigar isn't exactly what I expected either. I was expecting, I don't know, I was thinking more like traditional Nicaraguan dark style. I was thinking maybe like you know, you know, tempest esque <laughs> type cigar, but this is not that. It's mm -hmm. Much different. Mm -hmm. intimidated with Russ in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it tastes real good and I like it a lot. <laughs> with the beer, it's awesome. <laughs> Definitely a very nice combination, though. Mm -hmm. I have to agree. I think this is one of the best uh, pairings we've done so far. I'll also agree that uh, we ran out of beer too quickly. Uh, the cigar was great. The, the beer played off of the cigar very well. Uh, it had a nice, the cigar had a nice potency to it. There was a great amount of spice, uh, but remarkably smooth. It held up very well. Uh, I've got barely any left, which is good. The burn was great. The ash was phenomenal. Uh, and the beer is something, uh, yeah, we need more of that. <laughs> uh, but I agree, this is the best one so far. We've, we've done quite a few of these, and... Uh, we need to make it a more regular institution here at Pipes and Cigars.